Three years ago, I never thought I'd own a suppressor. Now I own three. Spotter ready? Yep. Having a suppressor on a rifle is kind of like if you'd driven your whole life in a car without a muffler. And then all of a sudden you got in a car with a muffler and you went, oh, this is way better. After all the new rifles that I buy, I want threaded and ready for a suppressor because that's how I'm going to hunt in the future. Everybody said it was a full moon. It probably would be slow this morning. There are elk running everywhere, all headed up the hill into that cow camp. So the plan is going to be to focus there and see if we can intercept them at that point, either this morning or, to, or tonight. So that's the plan anyway. And hunting to me was just natural. My father did it, my grandfather did it, and I've, I've always enjoyed it. You know, there are so many times when you're hunting when you get to see things and do things that people who don't hunt will never get to see. Need to find another bunch like that. I mean, Did you see them? I mean, they're feeling good this oh, morning. Oh yeah, this cold running and throwing their heads. And, but uh, how, many, how many elk total do you think that was? That was probably 70, 70 or eighty. Yeah, I think something yeah. like that. When I was a little kid, I, I said I want to be an outdoor writer. And I remember telling my guidance counselor that I wanted to be an outdoor writer, and she said, I don't think that's a real job. And uh, so I went into teaching. I taught high school for nine years in science, and I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed being a high school teacher and a coach. But I always wanted to do the writing, and I started doing it on the side, and eventually the writing became so much of my life that it, it became my career. I, I can't imagine another job that I'd rather have. I get to interview fascinating people, do amazing things, go to incredible places and, and hear stories and share stories that a lot of people would never hear. You have a relationship with any species that you hunt, but elk hunting is, I think, the most, the purest form of hunting because in its natural state, you have to go out and find elk. That kind of a connection, that kind of, breeds a different kind of experience. You're out here with them, and that experience is unlike anything else. Put a shell in. first saw that bull, it, just the way he was lined up, it looked like there was maybe something screwy on his right side. 
you really never know on a management hunt what you're going to get into. It could be a young elk, it could be an old elk, it could be, could be anything. The excitement of seeing a 380 bull or a 370 bull is the same whether you have a tag or not. It's still that rush. It's an incredible animal. To be close to him is amazing. I hope what I do is inspire people to not only come out and go elk hunting, but also to have an appreciation for all the work that goes into managing, protecting, conserving habitat and wildlife, and pass that on to future generations. But right now we're in a great position. We're finally ahead of the elk instead of behind them, which is where we want to be. So we're going to set up here, and if one of these cows presents a shot, we'll probably take it. She's down. She's down. Right there. There you go. She's down lying right to the right of that bush there. Good job. So that's a lot nicer with that suppressor. Did your ears hurt after I shot? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. And I was, you know, I remembered from the range, but it, man, that was sweet. Yeah, it's so much, much nicer much than, than just blasting you out like that. I don't want people to read a story about what a great elk hunter I am. The focus is to make people passionate about this. She's got a little age on her, which yeah. is good. Way to go, man. Hey. Like I said, there are people that'll never get to elk hunt. This may be as close as they ever get to getting to go on an elk hunt, but I want to share my experience the best way I know how so that they can feel that, they can smell that, they can, they can understand what it's like to hear an elk bugle. Um, to understand what it's like to get close and then blow a stalk and have something get away. You know, that's all part of the experience. And if that's all you get to experience of elk hunting, it's unfortunate, I wish everybody got to elk hunt, but at least I want to try to do my job to make people understand and appreciate uh, what it's like to be out here.